Once upon a time not long ago I was in Toronto. Once upon a time not long ago I was a Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I was speaking to someone the other day and they're like, you're such an interesting story. I've lived on four continents. I speak about four languages, not all that well, but he's like, it's really interesting. And I think it contributes to your music. So here I am. This is the story of why I moved to Germany. So the year was, <laughs> and I was living in Toronto. I had been studying in Waterloo before, but I always knew I wanted to do music. So I was like, okay, well, Toronto is the, the closest, biggest city. And if I want to do music, I have to move there. So I moved there. I did a lot of open mic nights. And then I met a musician who was from Montreal, but who'd lived in Berlin for a decade. And he moved back to Canada for a girl. This person made my life hell caused me a lot of grief and was the inspiration behind many songs. One day he said to me like, you need to move to Berlin. It's amazing. You do one gig there, it pays your whole rent. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. Okay, I need to go to Toronto. It was kind of a recession at the time. It was hard to get a job. Even if you wanted to be a waitress or something, you'd go to a restaurant and I think there'd be like a hundred resumes there. So you were just like, ugh. If you didn't have experience, which I didn't really have, it was a scary time. And I also had wanted to move to Montreal. That was kind of like my dream. But I decided not to go because... One, Montreal is way too cold. Like the snow comes up to here. Two, I knew that if I'd moved to Montreal, I would never move to Europe. And I just thought like, how cool would it be to live in Europe? Obviously a huge factor for me was the financial factor, learning that, oh, if I can do one job and it pays my whole rent, that's amazing. The rent in Berlin is known to be cheap. That has changed in the last couple of years because so many people have moved there because rent is cheap. But for a metropolitan city in Europe, it's still pretty affordable. Like my apartment, I had a one bedroom was like, it started off at 350 euros, which is really, really cheap. You can convert that. You just don't find that. Even in Toronto, Toronto was like double or three times that amount. And what you got paid as a musician was like kind of half of what you'd be paid in Berlin. So when I moved there, I was like, wow, Berlin slash Germany is the land of milk and honey. Time to make some money. And I had this whole plan, like I was really into the secret at the time. I was like, I'm just gonna like spend my days visualizing and then I'll like make music. And I wanted to do like sync licensing. So like during the day, produce songs for like film and TV. And then like at night, go and do the gigs or whatever. Dreams, dreams. It was a lot harder than that, but he wasn't wrong. Like one gig in Berlin does, like a, a corporate gig, like they call it gala gig, pays like 300 to like 500 euros. Can pay more, but that's around the average. And like I said, my rent was 350, so it was kind of true. It's just very unfortunate that the people, some of the people that he connected me to did not want to work with me. So I was like, I moved here for you guys. It was challenging. Like I did get other jobs that paid a little bit less and we'll get into that later. The second reason I wanted to move to Germany is because when I did my research, I found out that Germans buy the most amount of reggae music in the world, allegedly. I don't know if that's changed by now, but I was kind of looking at all the countries like Japan is a big music market, the US obviously, Brazil, um, France I think is another one, and Germany is another huge music market. So I'm like, it makes sense. But unfortunately, like most things in life, when something looks good on paper, it doesn't mean it's going to work out in your favor. So yeah, so I was like, it's a big music market. Okay, reggae is black music. So I don't do reggae, but they must be okay with black music. And they are. Germans love black music. Germans love all kinds of music. And unlike most places in Europe, they're willing to pay for it. Um, I think that Germans are, Germany is one of the places in the world that still buys a lot of CDs, which is very good for their industry. The German music market is very German at the moment, which I think is a very good thing. Like, I feel like people should celebrate their own. Like, you should be 
a winner in your own country, whereas in most countries, people are like, they're locals. You know, the <clears throat> the national stars, they don't regard them as that great unless they do something in America. Then it's like, oh, welcome back, the hero. The third reason was, like I said, I have this love affair with languages and cultures. And when I was a teenager, I would always watch the cooking channel. I mean, MTV, of course, and music stations, but like the cooking channel and the travel channel. And I've always wanted to travel. And I thought, wow, this is central. I could go all over Europe and travel. I didn't travel as much as I wanted to, but that was the hope. That was the premise. The fourth reason I wanted to move to Germany was I thought like, obviously, you want to go somewhere where you stick out, where you're different, where you have something unique to offer. So I thought they probably don't have that many people who look like me and maybe not as many people making the kind of music I make in that market. So it's a no brainer. You would think that would make sense again, but mm -mm, mm -mm. I was told many times like that they wouldn't sign me because I was black. So being black wasn't quite the asset that I thought it was for the industry, like the pop music industry. But I would say live music, the Germans are very open to live music. And that's why a lot of American, black American gospel groups go there. It's your girl. Because they do stick out, because they are different, because uh, they're the opposite of what the Germans are, which is very sort of conservative, you know, like a, imagine like a Baptist choir, they're very loud and the Germans love that contrast, right? Like that's not something they see every day. Another reason was like, you know, Germany has this rep of being like really uptight and, you know, a little bit. Graduate. And as a black woman, as someone who has been judged and stereotyped all her life, I just thought like, let me move to this place. Let me not believe what everyone has said about it. Let me make up my own mind. And I will say that, yeah, some of the stereotypes, unfortunately, were true, but a lot of them weren't. And I think that there is a lot of warmth in German people. Now, a lot of my favorite people in the world are Germans. Yeah, those were my reasons why. I hope this video was entertaining, informative. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. I hope your takeaways are like, just because something is good on paper doesn't mean, I mean, it's obvious, but I was very young. Just because something is good on paper doesn't mean it's really well suited. Follow your heart. Because when I first got there, I didn't feel like it was the right place for me. And I wish I had trusted that feeling, but I still learned a lot. And I didn't have the money to move anyways, but I got there and I'm like, this place doesn't feel right for me. This place doesn't feel right. So I would say when you're moving to a new place, people always tell you, no, with time it will change, you'll get better. Eh. I think you should really just listen to what your soul is saying. If you don't have the money, move anyways. I learned a lot of lessons and I came away speaking German. So that's always a plus because I did want to learn a new language.